Ever since I was a little girl, I wanted to be a hairstylist. I was three when I began to play pretend barbershop, fake cutting my brother's hair, putting fake makeup on my older sister. So when I got accepted into beauty school, I knew my life would be amazing. But life has a funny way of throwing curveballs at you sometimes. And sometimes, those inner demons that hide deep in your consciousness slowly bubble to the surface. Hey Terry, what happened? It was December. I had been an apprentice at Antonio's Hair Academy for six months, and I was desperate to be promoted to hairstylist. I would have done anything to get that job, even if it killed me. That's why I took that job. I guess I should have seen it coming. I remember my boss getting an email. It wasn't sketching anything. He was used to getting emails all the time. I remember it vividly. Antonio, I am in desperate need of a haircut, and I heard about the excellent staff you have hired. If it isn't too much trouble, could you please send me your finest apprentice to my house to give me a haircut? I am unfortunately too old to leave my house. However, I will pay extra for the service. Please help this little old lady, and send me Terry Vimes, my nearest and dearest creature. Sincerely, Mrs. Vimes. It was my grandmother. I didn't think about why she wouldn't call me in the first place. When I asked my boss why my grandma sent him an email, he said he didn't care and he didn't know, but he told me that if I got in the car and went to my grandmother, I would have gotten promoted. I told him I wouldn't disappoint, and I walked out. When I got to my grandmother's neighborhood that day, I was walking down the block and I, I felt something strange. It felt like someone was watching me. Every time I looked, I saw something, but I, I couldn't tell what it was. It looked like me. I thought I was imagining things, obviously. So I just kept walking. I went up to the door, and the door was already kind of creaked open. I walked in, said hello, asked for my grandmother, but no one responded. It was weird. It was ominous. It was silence. I didn't know why, but I thought walking into that house was a good idea. That promotion blinded me. I walked in. I kept feeling strange and feeling watched. And suddenly, I saw it. It, w it was a creature. It was me. I was confused. I must be imagining this, I said. I must be. This isn't true. This isn't real. And I just remember walking into the bathroom, ready to give my grandma a haircut, and just feeling, feeling so out of place, and then I saw it again. And then it went dark. So that's what happened. And um, it was painful. But hey, at least I got promoted.